right gang welcome to another video from seven season studios in this one we're going to show you how to make an actual custom flare brush so we're going to take the custom flare brush and at the end we're going to go ahead and apply it over to some of these holiday lights to give it a little bit of pizzazz all right let's go ahead and get into it so you'll find this in the downloads and if you didn't want to work with this one you can certainly grab whichever one you want so just look anamorphic flare and in anamorphic flare you'll get a whole bunch of images these images were done by myself so let's begin by first and foremost going over to our layers panel and let's add an adjustment we're gonna make the color black and white now there was a lot of reds in that image so we're gonna turn this down slightly we're gonna turn down the yellow slightly and then we're going to hit OK. So I'm at a 49 and a 93 percent. All right, perfect. So step one, change the color to black and white. Now, I'm going to take this black and white layer and I'm going to move it into the background. Step two, I like to adjust my levels. So I take my whites a little bit whiter and I make my blacks a little bit blacker to get a little bit better contrast hit OK. Now I make sure that adjustment is also inside. Now step three, I come over and I'm going to invert. Step three, invert. So here's how my layers look. Invert, levels adjustment, black and white adjustment. So this is where you should be. Now the very next thing you're going to do is select we're going to select a sampled color and we're going to sample the white. Now, why didn't that work? Notice I'm not on my background layer. As soon as I select the sample color in my background layer, this is what comes up. Make sure you're on your background layer. Now, I'm going to crank this down to about 18% and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit apply. All right, now what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the marching ants to go out into some of these rays. That's really what I'm looking for. Now, once I have this, I'm going to hit the delete key. Now I have a transparent background. I come over and I deselect. This is now my image. So now I go to file export and I export it as a PNG. I'm going to call it flare for trial. Put it somewhere, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it just on my desktop for now. All right, so this is the image we're going to make the brush out of. So you saw how we did that. We turned it to black and white. We added a levels adjustment. We inverted it and then we selected by the sampled color, which is white, deleting the white. It really is a four-step simple process. Now what you're going to do, let's go over to brushes, and let's go ahead and let's create a new category. We're going to call this new category Flare Brush Trial. Now if you're not sure how to create a brush category, check out our videos on how to create a brush category. And then we're going to use this now to create a new intensity brush. Now it's going to ask you where you put the PNG. Put that over here. And then this doesn't look anything like that, right? So let's see what we got. I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to decrease the hardness. I'm going to decrease the accumulation. And I'm going to increase the spacing. And I think that's a pretty good shot. So size goes up, accumulation and hardness go down, spacing goes up until you got something that looks similar to this. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. File new. I'm going to hit OK. It doesn't matter. This is just to test it, right? I create a new pixel layer. I grab my marquee tool 
I fill said layer. What color do I fill it with? Black. Perfect. Now I come up to my brushes. I grab my brush. I grab my color and I want to use white. And now I have a nice amorphic flare that I can use. I can turn down the opacity on the individual layer. I can do a lot of stuff with this. All right. Now, the cool thing is also we can add in an adjustment. I can recolor the layer. I can do so much with this, folks. You have no clue, right? We can make it red. We can make these flares kind of a shade of yellow. This is absolute power right here. So a flare brush is a huge, huge win. All right, now let's go ahead and apply it over here. I'm gonna come over to the picture. I'm gonna grab my brush. Now, my layer, I have my background. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab a pixel layer. I'm gonna grab my brush. Ratchet up my brush size. Okay, now I'm going to want a different color because I don't want black. I'm going to want a color that is very similar to what I have here in the glow. So let's go ahead and grab that color of yellow. Now we're going to ratchet this up a little bit. We're going to want, that's a little bit opaque. So let's go ahead and select a different color here. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click once here. Looks good. I'm going to click again here. And I'm going to put a little reflected light up on this thing here, but I'm going to grab it and make it a little bit different still. Let's grab that color right about there. Okay. Perfect. Now, we've added some reflected light to the photo. Now we're going to play the game. We change up the blend modes just slightly. I'm going to go ahead and go with a vivid light. All right, folks. So you now have your very own brush in which you can apply whatever lighting techniques you're going to want in your holiday photos. So as a special thank you for everybody that made it to the end of this video, in the link below I have a link to my set of five flare brushes completely free for you as 7th Season Studios way of saying thank you for watching the video, thank you for supporting us in 2017, and I can't wait to see what we're capable of in 2018. All right folks, happy holidays to you and yours. Happy creating. I look forward to seeing what you do with the flare brushes. If you got any questions, you like the videos, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know how I help. All right, folks, off on to the holiday. See you in 2018.